so we are meeting after a long time hope so you all have done your papers well that means exam was given nicely by all of you and all of you will be getting good marks in your exam so now again we will start with our studies so today we are going to start with chapter 11 transportation in animals and plants today is the first part of it children here on the screen you can see the structure of a man you can see the heart along with the heart you can see some of the tube like or else the vessel like things coming out of it so those are your veins and arteries here the red color are your auricles sorry red colors are your arteries and the blue color is your veins children as you have already studied in your many of the previous chapters that food which is containing lot and lot of nutrients in the different forms is required by our body and to require along with the food we also need water and oxygen for our survival oxygen we get from the nature as you know the plants they take in carbon dioxide and they give out oxygen whereas we human beings we take in oxygen and we give out carbon dioxide now the need of all this is to transport all these things to the various parts of the body so how it takes place the question arises so we'll deal with it apart from that most of the time you might have experienced when you run very fast or you perform any of the activity your heart beats very fast or it beats rapidly and this you come to know when you touch your chest that means the left side of your chest somewhat which is tilted to your heart is placed towards the left side of your chest so if you just keep your hands over there you can feel the beating of your heart what it is how it is taking place all that we will be taking up in the chapter so animal need to transport these waste also to the part from where it has to be removed so how all this takes place that is what we are going to study so all this takes place with the help of the heart and the blood vessels that just now i showed you in the beginning of the chapter here you can see the red colored heart which i said it is placed in between your ribs in between the chest okay and it is covered by the rib cage when we are talking of the heart it is the main organ which helps in the circulation of the material within the human beings and this all takes place with the help of the circulatory fluid called the blood which is carried through these blood vessels and all the blood vessels are connected to this main organ of the system called the heart so here you can see within the figure they function to transport these substances and together form the circulatory system so if the question is what is circulatory system the circulatory system is 
द ट्रांसपोर्ट ऑफ ऑल द सब्सटेंसेस फ्रॉम वन पार्ट ऑफ द बॉडी टू द अदर पार्ट विद द हेल्प ऑफ योर हार्ट एंड योर ब्लड वेसल्स along with the waste also is said to be circulatory system circulation of oxygen takes place circulation of all the nutrients that means the transportation of all the nutrients to the different parts of the body removal of the waste products produced during your digestion elimination of carbon dioxide which is formed during the process of respiration so all these things takes place with the help of the three things either you can say the three major components of the circulatory system which are said to be the blood the heart and the blood vessels so here you can see a human being it is having the heart in the center and you can even see the veins and the arteries how it is connected to the tip of the head as well as to the bottom that is the toe of a person now children coming to the topic you might have observed whenever you are playing with something with some sharp edged thing or when you are sharpening your pencil or when you are playing with a sharp edged pen might have seen you get a cut on your any part of your body so at that time something red colored thing come out of your body so what is this red colored thing this red colored thing is the blood so we say whenever we get any cut on our body the blood flows out now what is this blood blood is a fluid which flows within the blood vessels so i just not told you about the arteries and the veins these are the blood vessels which carry this blood it is one of the important tissue within the circulatory system there are two components of the blood we will be dealing about them so this blood it transports the substances like the digested food from the small intestine to all the other parts of the body it also carries along with it the oxygen from the lungs to the cell of the body and transports the waste which is removed from the body now how this blood carries all these various substances so all this is carried through a liquid which is the blood which has cells of various kinds which are suspended within it the as i said there are two main components of the blood the first is the fluid component which is said to be your blood plasma and the second the solid component called the blood corpuscles or the blood cells blood plasma is colorless it is a liquid which consists of about 90% of the water and the remaining 10% of the minerals such as sodium potassium and calcium which are dissolved within the food as the waste products and the proteins blood consists of three types of cells these three types of cells are red blood cells white blood cells and the platelets so we'll be discussing about all these three 
one by one. The picture on the screen is of red blood cells. These red blood cells are spherical in shape. When they mature, they do not have the nucleus. These red blood cells produce in our bone marrow and they have a lifespan of only few days. A red blood cell contains a pigment called hemoglobin which is present within the RBC. It is because of these pigments that red blood cells appear red in color. Hemoglobin which combines with the oxygen and forms oxyhemoglobin and this is the way how oxygen is transported to the, all the cells of the body. Once this oxyhemoglobin reaches to all the cell, oxygen gets separated from these hemoglobin and it is utilized by the cell. After the RBC, we have the second type of the blood cell and that is your WBC. When we talk of WBC, they are acting as a fighting mechanism. These are colorless cells. Their number is very few but are larger in size as compared to that of RBC. As I said, they act as a fighting mechanism, so they protect our body against the diseases by destroying these harmful organisms. So their number also increases when a person is suffering from any of the illness. They show amoeboid movement with the help of which they can reach to any site of the infection. This takes place through the walls of the blood vessels. After the white blood cells, the third one is the platelets. The platelets are very smaller cells within our body. As you can say, they are the smallest cell within the body. Their main function is to help the blood in clotting. This you might have noticed that the blood stops coming out of the wound after the few minutes. It is because of these platelets. So the platelets prevent the blood loss. Now when we are talking of platelets, I will just stop over here with the platelets and I am giving you a home assignment which is in the form of fill in the blanks. First one is red blood cells consist of dash pigment. Second one the function of platelets is dash. Third one the three types of the blood cells are dash, dash and dash. Fourth one, the fluid part of the blood is called dash. So children, today I introduced you with the circulatory system. I told you about the blood, its function and the three components of the blood along with the plasma okay i hope you have understood the chapter till this topic that is blood tomorrow we'll start with the blood vessels in which we will be studying about the arteries and the veins thank you take care